want to kiss you and kiss you and put my arms around you and hold you and kiss you and even <laughs> fornicate with you. <laughs> but I don't know how to tell you because I've got pimples. <laughs> my feet are too big and my bum sits. <laughs> I was like him, I'd know all the right words. If I was like him, I'd know some real birds. Apart from those in my dreams and in magazines. Just look at his hair. His hair's dark and wavy. Mine's mousy to fair. Mine's a colour of gravy. Each, Each part, part of his face is in just the right place. Is he laughing at me? At my nose, did he notice? That I should wear a brace. But I've got halitosis. When and nature picked on me, she chose to stick on me. Eyes that don't match. I've got ears that stand out. She picked the wrong batch when she handed mine out. And then she attacked me with permanent acne. I wish I was. A bit like, wish that I could score a hit like, and be just a little bit like that guy. That guy. I wish that I could be like, just a little less like me, like the kind of guy I see. But I can go and get you some. Are you soft? What, brother? Mickey! Oh. <laughs> well, shag the vicar! <laughs> That sounds dead funny swearing in that posh voice. What posh voice? That one. <laughs> Where do you live? At least they look like... My God, I only live just no, here. That girl I saw you with, was that one no, of No, Linda! Those... Oh, do you remember Linda? Oh, was that Linda? Yeah. And is she your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, she's one of them. <laughs> One of them. Yeah, have you got a girlfriend? Me? Me? No. <laughs> Haven't you? Look, you seem to have rather a lot of them. Perhaps you'd share one with me. Share one? Oh, I haven't even got one girlfriend. But Linda, you I said... I know, she she would be my girlfriend. She keeps saying she loves me all over the place, but it's just that difficult. What? I know what you're saying, that. Then you must just go straight up to her. You ask her, I know I? every time I see her, I promise myself I'm going to ask her. And the words disappear. But you mustn't let them. Well, what do we say, eh? Oh, Mickey, it's easy. I've read about it. <laughs> Look, the next time you see Linda, you stare straight into her eyes and you say, Linda, I love you. I want you. The very core of my being is longing for you. <laughs> my loins are burning for you. <laughs> Let me lay my weary head between your warm breasts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, let me keep her eyes will be half closed and her voice may appear somewhat husky as she pleads with you. Be gentle with me. Be gentle. Shit. <laughs> You know, listen, we can see how it's done. Oh. Look here, the Assoldo, for one week only, nymphomaniac nights and Swedish au pairs. <laughs> no! Hey, I'll have to go home and get some money first. Well, I've got plenty, I'll lend you some. Oh, no, it's all right. My mum will give it me. Oh, come on then, before my ma sees me. She's off her feet, my ma. Did you really feel that 
future was safe and sound But the past was tightly locked away Did you really feel you would never be found? Did you forget you've got some debts to pay? Did you forget about the reckoning day? Yes, the devil, he's still got your number He's moving down the street from you Someone says he wants to speak with you And someone said they'd seen him cleaning up your door Knock! 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 What? It's Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Johnston. Isn't it fantastic? We're neighbours again. Oh, do you know where he lives? He lives in that big house. You know, the really big house on the Hey, he learns quits got the pictures. Yeah, it's in the sideboard. Mom! Ah, I love you. You're looking very well, Mrs. Johnston. Am I? Do, uh, do you still keep the locket I gave you? Oh, yes, of course. Do you well look? Hey, Mom! Mommy! It's all right if I bring Eddie back afterwards for a uh, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, enjoy yourselves. But don't be too late, will Come you? Come on, see you later on. Hey, what film are you going to see? What? <laughs> what film? Doctor Shivago. Magnificent Seven. <laughs> Doctor Shivago's Magnificent Seven. It's a double bill. <laughs> Everyone wears it on. The old <laughs> Harvey Soldo. When I passed the Soldo this morning, they were showing Nymphomaniac Nights and Swedish show pairs. Oh, yes, Mrs. Johnston, yes, yes. They're just the trailers. <laughs> a documentary and... And a travelogue about Sweden. <laughs> Do the pair of you think I was born yesterday? Mum, it's just a travelogue. <laughs> Showing the spectacular bends and curves of Sweden, eh? Go on, you round the little son. Mother! <laughs> Go on, my father, I'll book it a water with a pair of you. I don't know, a bad copy. You'd be better off with bromide. <laughs> She's fabulous, your ma, isn't she? She's a fucking head case. Come on. <laughs> Of me, even though he'd never oh, afraid that he might eventually have forgotten about you. No, there's no chance of that. He'll always remember you. After we moved here, he talked less and less of you and your family. And I started just for a while. I, I came to believe he was actually mine. He is yours. Straight at me, and I think he knows. He knows! And you ruined me! You will not ruin Edward! Is, uh, is it money you want? What? Well, I, I could get it for you if you were away from here. Come on, how much? How much Nothing. do you want? You bought me up once before! I, I'm talking about thousands. Thousands if, if you want it. Click. Think what you could do with money like that. I'd spend it. I'd buy more junk and trash, that's all. I don't want your money. I've made a life there. It's not much you want, maybe, but I've made it. I'm staying here. 
You move if you want to. Oh, I would. I would, but there's no point. You'd, you'd just follow me again, wouldn't you? I'm not I'm following you. You'd all you be behind me. I'm a now. Always and then and forever like a, like a shadow. So I could make it go. But you won't. So you There's a few bob in your pocket, and you've got good friends. And it seems that summer's never coming to an end. Young, free, and innocent. You haven't got a care. Well, apart from deciding on the clothes you're gonna wear. The streets turned into paradise. The radio singing dreams. You're innocent, immortal. You're just 15. <laughs> And who dare tell the lambs in spring what fate the later seasons bring? Who tell the girl in the middle of the pair the price you'll pay for just being there? <laughs> 